This is a Bucks Fast Break presented by West Bend, the silver lining. Bucks fall in OT in Chicago, 120 to 113, a surprising loss. Bucks had a lead uh, with six seconds to go in regulation, and Caruso hits a big three to send it to overtime. Also kind of a tale of two halves. Giannis, four first-half points. Dame had 17. Dame had one point in the second half. Giannis had 22. Didn't all mesh tonight. It didn't all mesh. I think that's a little bit of the luxury of having all-stars like that, as you can kind of take turns, but it's even better when they're both going at the same time, and that was the one thing that didn't really happen tonight. But to your point, Chicago played a heck of a game. They were feisty. They were there all the way to the end, even when you thought Milwaukee was finally going to close this game out. Like you said, Caruso coming up with an incredible three to send into overtime. And then, unfortunately, overtime 14-7 to in Chicago's favor. They won by seven. Well, let's kind of take a look at uh, what transpired. 126 to go in the fourth quarter of this one when Kobe White hits a desperation three at the shot clock buzzer to give him a seven-point lead. And these were the kind of shots, really, that both teams were making in the fourth quarter. Kobe White, known to be a big-time shot maker. He hit a few big ones in this game, but Milwaukee as well. Beasley at five threes tonight. A big one here with 48 seconds to go to get the Bucks within two. And the three-point shooting, it was huge. Beasley getting those feet set, knocking down some big fourth-quarter three-pointers, and he wasn't the only one. Lopez with six threes tonight. This gives the Bucks the lead with 20 seconds to go. Big time shooting by Brook. Dame with one of his 13 assists on the night. 18 points Dame scored, but it was the assists and some of his shooters making shots like that that were the big shots. Final seconds, Giannis a huge block. He had five in the game. Looks like the Bucks were going to win it. It sure did. At this point, you thought this was the momentum the Bucks needed, a big time block back in the Bucks' hands, but unfortunately there was a little more game to be played. And this is the play to send it to overtime. The off-balance three by Caruso. And we head to the extra session. You got to hate a hero, especially when they're on Chicago Caruso, though. You can see that look in his eye. That was the shot he wanted, and he came through. And in overtime, White hits a three, and Chicago is on their way. You know, they were. They were feeling good at this point. I think the momentum certainly shifted in their favor into overtime. And Kobe White, he stayed hot. The sumo, the steal. Look how quickly he gets down court. But Giannis right behind him. This rule that goaltending would have been big if it would have been a block. Sure would have. We've seen Giannis get this so many times, but they looked at it, they reviewed it, they said it was over the cylinder, count the bucket, that was game. All right, so the Bucks fall by seven here, and Coach Griff talks about Chicago's effort over his club. I think one, uh, taking care of the ball, uh, you know, too many turnovers uh, allowed them to get out in transition. And I know we turned them over too as well, but um, you know they they were flying around, they were into us. They, were, you know, we have to be more physical. Uh, we got to execute. I, you know, our screening I think uh, could have been a little bit better. Um, you know, they were doing a lot of switching as well. So again, we just got to learn from this and uh, get ready for the next game. Next game coming up Saturday against Trey Young and the Atlanta Hawks. Back at home, though, in Milwaukee. And then the big one on Tuesday night. That is the uh, knockout round game against the Knicks in the in-season tourney. And we've got all the coverage for you right here on Valley Sports Wisconsin. Again, the Bucks fall to the Bulls, 120-113. to This has been a Bucks Fast Break presented by West Bend, the Silver Line.